Uh, well, from coffee to cannabis stocks, they are up as more people are expected to buy marijuana over the holiday weekend. Actually, they're down right now. Look at that. Tilray, Canopy Growth, uh, Aurora Cannabis all down slightly in today's session. Maybe Thanksgiving with some family members gets a little stressful. Maybe that's why the sales go up. We don't know. But despite uh, an expected big weekend, California is raising taxes on legal marijuana, with some areas seeing taxes just shy of 50 percent, all set to get into effect on January the 1st. Let's bring in the co-founder of Harborside, Steve D'Angelo. Uh, Steve, thanks for joining us. You, you actually run a marijuana dispensary in California. Are you seeing more people now turn to the black market for cheaper weed? Uh, following the regulation of cannabis by the state in 2018, uh, taxes were increased from an average of 10 or 15 percent to more than 40 percent across most of California. Uh, and that has um, uh, impacted the legal cannabis market in a negative way. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen stories where, you know, even to apply for a license to sell marijuana is very complicated. You fill out all the forms. It's expensive. You pay thousands and thousands. And once you do get in business, the state is taking a large chunk of whatever you make. I mean, why is it that California doesn't understand that what they're doing is contrary to what uh, they said they would do and the black market is now just booming? Well, it's a classic example of overtaxation and overregulation. At the same time that taxes mm. were increased massively, we also saw a licensing process which was so onerous, so difficult, so demanding that the vast bulk of California's cannabis growers have been unable to become licensed despite wanting to. And so now these two groups of people are getting together. Yeah, it's just, it's just ludicrous. Another one for you, if you can, Steve. And uh, the FDA issued a warning on CBD products. Could this be bad for you in the future? Uh, well, uh, as a percentage of Harborside's overall sales, mm. CBD is relatively small, so it's certainly not going to, to impact Harborside. Uh, I don't think that the action by the FDA is going to measurably slow down demand for CBD. Mm. Uh, their advisory put companies in an impossible position. On the one hand, they're being threatened with legal action for not following FDA guidelines. And on the other hand, the agency has failed to issue the guidelines. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very gray area, as they say. Uh, Stephen D'Angelo, thank you so much for taking the time to come in and chat with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Ashley. All right, thank you. Uh, by the way, we've been waiting all hour to talk about this.